everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. I hope that you'll share this out on your social media. There's a lot of things that are taking place in our world that are pointing toward the imminent return of Jesus Christ. And one of them specifically has happened just within this past week from the article Axis of Ezekiel 38. The article reads that the Turkish president, Erdogan, is calling for Russia, Iran, Turkey, and Syria in an alliance against Israel. You heard it right. Straight from Ezekiel 38, the headlines are reading today with this coalition of states that are literally named as the leaders of the Gog and Magog war that's in Ezekiel 38 and 39. He goes on to say that Israel, Mr. Erdogan does, the most concrete threat to regional and global peace. Imagine that. He goes on to say in this article, quote, it is essential that Russia, Iran, and Syria take more effective measures against this situation, which poses the greatest threat to Syria's territorial integrity. Erdogan, he said that uh, just recently, just within the past few days, after there was a strike that is alleged to have been made by Israel upon the very city of Damascus that we would read prophetically about in Isaiah 17. This article goes on to say that Erdogan makes this statement, quote, uh, Hamas is not a terrorist organization. Imagine that. Uh, it is waging a battle for its land. So now you understand the mindset of those that are in that region and the threat that is posed against the tiny nation of Israel. Uh, he has uh, been blaming over the past year especially Israel for all of that is taking place in the Middle East, uh, specifically calling Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, the Butcher of Gaza. He said in May of 2024, this, just this year, he said that Turkey was announcing it's halting all trade with Israel. In the same month, he called uh, and joined together, he said, with uh, South Africa's lawsuit against Israel in the International Court of Justice at The Hague. He also said that the country also sent its intelligence chief, this is Erdogan from Turkey, uh, to uh, Qatar to make uh, some political uh, connections with the leaders of Hamas. Imagine that. And in July of this year, uh, he actually gave a veiled threat of an invasion to Israel to support the Palestinians in a uh, party speech that he made concerning Gaza. So this is not just one thing that's taking place, but it's multiple, and it's right out of the Word of God from Ezekiel 38. These coalitions of states led by uh, Russia would come together with other Arab states, and specifically naming Persia and that of the region of Turkey, those that are involved, and others in an attack against the nation of Israel. Is this what's coming together? There's no doubt that the saber rattling that's taking place is pointing straight from the prophetic scriptures in Ezekiel 38. There is no doubt about it. You can see it happening. And to uh, look at it, whether it happens in the near future or sometime, of course, in the future, it's going to happen according to the prophetic word of God. I also want to share with you today in this briefing very quickly some lessons that it could be learned from the hurricanes that have been taking place. Here in the state of Florida, there's been three uh, hurricanes just within the past uh, 60 or so days and catastrophic in two of them. And of course, it goes on up into South Carolina, Georgia, and North Carolina specifically that did not and was not prepared for uh, that kind of catastrophic event taking place. And it's been devastation there. And the first thing I want to say is that our prayers and concerns and our support, we've, which we've already done from right here at Pace Assembly and will continue to do, is uh, happening for these uh, devastated regions. And I just encourage you to continue to pray and support and do whatever you can. It's very obvious that they have been left alone in many cases to try to pick up the pieces. And we're glad for anyone that can come in and help certainly doing that. But moreover, in the overarching of this particular uh, message to us from these hurricanes is the fact that it is said to be one of those things that causes in the last days, as God would use, according to Luke 21 and 11, earthquakes in diverse places, famine, pestilence, fearful sights and signs would take place uh, in the heavens. 
These are things that would be indicating the uh, nearness of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so probably the most important lesson to be learned is the fact that life is very fragile. All the other things, the cars and houses and everything else can be picked up, but life is very valuable and very important to us. In light of the scripture, it is no doubt the signs of the times that we're living in. And they've been put into categories before, signs in nature, signs in the heavens, uh, signs in society. I've dealt with all of these in Prophecy File Update numerous times. You see all these signs taking place, but probably the most neglected is that of the signs in nature. The Bible says, Jesus making the statement in Matthew 24 and 8, that it would be like a woman who is travailing with a child, that these birth pains would become more frequent and more intense the closer of that delivery. Well, I believe we can see that taking place in the time that we're in right now. Uh, it appears that the level of these storms and the intensity of it, not written off to climate change, but certainly uh, the God of heaven who is in control of all things uh, and knows all that's taking place, allowing it to take place uh, for the sake of the repentance of people, the drawing back to God because there are systems and uh, events and signs that are taking place that are beyond the human ability to comprehend and to be able to even survive. And therefore, God uses these things to be able to get the attention of humanity. These signs are not a, a, just some kind of, um, some kind of obscure uh, thing that's taking place, but Throughout the Word of God, we see these signs in nature taking place. The very birth of Jesus Christ by a star in heaven. When he was crucified on the cross, the darkness in the middle of the day, an eclipse of the sun. And when he returns, the Bible says that there will be great earthquakes and signs in the heavens that would take place upon Jesus' return. All of these are what we would call remedial judgments, that is to say, to get the attention of humanity that there is a God in heaven and it's time to repent and turn back to him. You can read about these remedial judgments in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 that deals with every category of our life and lifestyle from the economy to the very farming and industry and uh, world politics. All of these things are included in Deuteronomy 28 where he says that if you'll uh, repent and obey his word, then you can be blessed. But then at the latter portion of Deuteronomy 28, he speaks about the curses that come upon a nation that will reject him and refuse repentance. And probably the most critical sign and connection is that of Israel. How we treat Israel is how God will treat the other nations. And I can tell you, I don't have to, uh, this is not something we're making up. You can see the direct parallel throughout history as to when the United States made uh, judgments or statements, whatever it may be, against Israel and the events of hurricanes and storms that would be devastating upon our, uh, the United States of America. This is happening, I believe, right now and certainly could be connected to what's taking place in the nation of Israel and how America is treating Israel even right now. This is so critically important. Isaiah 26 and verse number 9 makes this statement. When the earth experiences your judgments, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. That's why it's so important that we recognize that uh, there must be a point at which a people, a nation, returns to God in full repentance, uh, humility before God, seeking his mercy and grace upon our land. And we need that now more than ever before. Some are hoping in an election to be able to make things turn, but I can assure you the only way things are going to turn around is when the people begin to turn back to God, and it starts with the house of God. I want to encourage every believer to seek the face of God today, call upon the Lord, continue witnessing to those that you're influencing and in wherever your uh, area and sphere of influence may be. Speak to them about the coming of the Lord, about the Word of God, and what Jesus Christ has done for them on the cross. This is the time to seek the Lord like never before. Until we get together again right here on Prophecy File Briefing, remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon.